For years, this virus appeared to infect only birds, not songbirds such as cardinals or robins, but rather ducks, geese, chickens, and turkeys. All of these can be infected with H5N1. But infectious disease specialist Dr. Stephen Blatt told me once the first human case was found from close contact with an infected bird. We are very concerned, and we were even concerned before COVID, that the next pandemic was going to be due to one of these bird flu viruses. The USDA has just shared 239 recent genetic sequences from the H5N1 bird flu virus from poultry, dairy herds, and wild birds to try and help scientists find out just how to protect both animals and humans. While the risk reported right now to humans is considered low. As this virus mutates, it, it very well could uh, start to spread within human populations. So far, only humans with close contact to infected birds have been infected with this virus. So the CDC now asking those who have this potential to be on the lookout for flu-like symptoms fever, body aches, a cough or sore throat. Prescription antiviral medications do appear to help people recover when given right away. And there is a vaccine now for H5N1 in storage. They haven't made a lot of it, just uh, made a few doses so that they could test it. And it does look like it produces appropriate immunity in patients who are potentially at risk. And just so you know, Dr. Blatt says even though dairy animals and poultry are at risk for this virus, with the exception of eggs from potentially infected wild or backyard chickens, our food supply is still safe to eat. So eggs and, and milk, if it were the dairy industry, are, are pasteurized or treated so that viruses are killed. And, and so you don't have to worry about that. Now, the CDC has very specific information and recommendations for those exposed to the bird flu virus. Most of the symptoms do show up within about 10 days. From breaking news to feel-good stories, Local 12 has it all. Tap subscribe and hit the links to find out more.